Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be my top 10 ways to make money fast in Farming Simulator 22 for all platforms. So everything I'm gonna talk about today does work on all platforms. There are some ways on PC that will work a little bit better than some of these ways, and I'll talk about those as we go through, but everything we talk about today is gonna to work in general for all platforms, so we'll talk about all that. Now, I do mention a couple of mods. Actually, I think I only mentioned one mod, to be honest, in this video, and that mod is available for all platforms. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So first off, uh, we're here in new farmer mode, and tip number one, or easy way number one to get money fast is sell what you don't need. So if we're in new farmer mode here, well, first off, buildings are a good one to get rid of. So let's say, well, we don't need a silo. We can sell that. $58,000 in the bank. Boom. We don't need this building here. $50,000. Boom. Easy peasy. Now it does leave a little weird thing there, but now this building doesn't sell for anything, but if we want to clear it out of the way, that'll get us a little bit more space. Um, we also can sell our shop here. $25,000. Easy peasy. Get rid of that. Um, if we want our water trigger gone, we can sell that off. Fifteen hundred bucks, sell it off. There we go. We just made a bunch of money. We had a hundred thousand dollars starting out. Now we're at two hundred thirty-five thousand, just selling off some of the stuff we don't need. Now we don't really need the house. So if you wanted to sell the farmhouse, you could. But there is a reason we might want to hold on to it, and I'm going to keep it in there just for now, uh, so I can demonstrate that a little bit later. Now you also can sell unused land. So if we actually go into the menu here. Um, we own just this piece of land in new farmer mode, but let's say you had other pieces of land that you weren't going to use, or maybe you didn't want this piece of land, you could sell this for 156000 because let's say you don't need as much room. Um, let's say you just want a smaller piece of land, you could buy this one for 56000 So you could sell that for one fifty six and buy this for fifty six, and then you'd net an extra $100,000. So if you're not using all the land that you have, try to get a smaller plot of land that's nearby or even somewhere else on the map because then you have a little bit of extra money to work with in your bank account. So just something to think about. Now the last thing as well in terms of selling the stuff you don't need is selling extra equipment. So if you go in our garage here, well, I never use a header trailer, so I'm just going to sell this. Now another tip with this, it is smarter to take this to the shop to sell it, you will get more money. But I'm just gonna, just for the sake of the demonstration, I'm gonna sell this right here just to get rid of it. Um, I rarely use weights and I rarely need two weights. So I'll just sell one of my weights off. Um, cultivator, sure, we could sell that off if we wanted to. Anything you don't want in here. Uh, the pickup, I don't need to drive around really quick. I'm just use a tractor if I need to go somewhere. So, um, and I don't need three tractors to be honest with you. What I typically do is I look at all the horsepower. These two have more horsepower, so I'm gonna sell this one off. Even though I don't get as much for it, um, I want the two that have a little bit higher horsepower just so I can pull bigger stuff. And just selling a couple of things out of here, we're already up an extra $100,000 there. So we're up to $334,000 just selling unused stuff. Now let's say we needed even more money. This is where we come to number two, which is take out a loan. I know this is not really necessarily the best way to go about things, but this is an easy way to get cash if you need it fast. Now, if we go in here and I go into the finance screen, um, it says loan is at $0 down here. I can borrow it in increments of $5,000. So if I wanted to actually max out my loan, now the bigger your farm gets, I don't know how the exact game mechanic works, but uh, later on in the game, once your farm gets bigger, you can borrow more, but typically it limits you to around 500,000, but we'll see how much it actually lets me take out uh, here if we keep going here, but I'm guessing it'll, yep, it'll stop me at $500,000 there. So yes, I do have to pay interest on this um, every night. It's not gonna be that much. It will be a couple thousand dollars um, every night um, that I have to pay interest on. A matter of fact, we can sleep through the night just to show you how much interest I'm gonna have to pay on a full $500,000 loan. We hop out here, there we go. $1,600 in loan interest. So not too bad for a $500,000 loan. And you can see our money is up to 833,000. So a uh, fairly good way to make uh, some extra money there. Now, again, you can always pay it back as you need to go. It won't pay back automatically as that, that is an interest only payment you're paying on it. So just repay as you go. Another tip too, in terms of loans go, um, let's say we're getting ready to hit, you know, the end of the day and I have $800,000 in the bank and I have a $500,000 loan. Even though I'm like, hey, I need to use that money or maybe I only have $100,000 in the bank, but I'm getting ready to go over. Pay, much, pay back as much as you can at the end of the day so that way you get charged less interest overnight and then you can reborrow it immediately the next day without any penalty. So that's kind of a tip, uh, kind of a workaround with loans. Now for number three, my next way to make money pretty quickly in Farming Simulator 22 is doing fertilizing contracts. So now we're actually doing some work here. If we come into our menu, go to our contract menu here. Look at all these beautiful fertilizing contracts. Now yeah, some of them don't pay as much, like this one's only $428 uh, for field 65, but ones like field 10, easy to do. Now, if you look over here, where's field 10 at? Field 10 is gonna be a fairly large field right up there. So not even the biggest one on the map. We're gonna get 10 grand to fertilize that. Now, typically what I will do is I will go into the store here and since I have some extra money, 
I will typically purchase, if we go down to fertilizer spreaders, I will typically purchase just this guy right here to get me started, $25,000. Um, you can lease it as well if you need to save money. 42 meter working width and it holds a fair amount of fertilizer. So with this thing alone, you will get fertilizing contracts done very, very quickly. So it makes it easy to do that. And again, you can accept a bunch of different fertilizing contracts at once. So if I wanted to take this one, um, this $8,000 one and this $2,000 one here, this $2,000 one here, you know, I make about $20,000 there, minus I probably will spend three or $4,000 on fertilizer. But at the same time, you're gonna make a pretty high profit margin in terms of that. All right, and for number four, another great way to make money on contracts is harvesting contracts. Now, all contracts will make you some money, but these ones tend to be the most profitable. And, that, and I'm, what I mean by the most profitable is the fertilizing ones or the harvesting contracts tend to be the best. Now, harvesting ones aren't quite as good as fertilizing ones, in my opinion, but they're still a great way to make money. So if we take a look here, we have one harvesting contract available right now. So there may be few and far between, depending on what map you're playing on. But yes, we do make $3,300 to complete this contract. And I always recommend leasing their equipment. So we'll lease it for $368 because it's not much off the top of that. So if you don't know how that works, you accept this contract. If we borrow the items, it'll give us this equipment to do the contract in, which I recommend since the maintenance on our own vehicles doing this contract is gonna probably far exceed $368. So I recommend using their equipment. But yes, after you complete this, you typically on every contract, on every contract will make about the same amount on the contract or more. A lot of times I make a lot more than that. Um, usually make at least the contract value in extra crop that's left over, or you can use that crop to make into productions or anything like that. But you'll get extra crop that you can sell on top of the contract, um, which is fantastic. So you'll make some extra money on that. And it works with basically every harvesting contract that you'll find. Now for number five, this is a crop type that is easy to do that I would recommend because um, it just, it's again, it's easy to do and you can make a lot of money doing it. And that's silage bales, making silage bales. Now, all you need to do that, so if we go in here actually, and we go into the store, um, if we wanted to make silage bales here in new farmer mode, well, let's go ahead and sell our harvest drop. Let's say we're just not gonna do any harvesting, we don't need that. We don't even need this trailer here to do silage bales. We don't need this cultivator. Um, we can use the cedar if we want, but um, what you could do as well, you could use the cultivator and cedar here, but what I would do is just sell all this stuff off. You can even sell your weight off. Hold on to your two tractors because you want to use those for different stuff. Then if we go down here, um, we have three fields right now the way it sits. Go into here and lease this guy right here because you can go into it. Lease this guy for $5,584. Put some seeds in it and then quickly direct drill all three of your fields. If we go here, you can put grass in all three of these fields here, or you can even buy a couple extra fields and put more grass in them. And then you also want to buy yourself a fertilizer spreader right here. Again, just get the cheap one, buy this guy right here. Then you can fertilize your grass after you harvest it. And while you harvest it, you only have to put one fertilizer state each time. But after grass is planted, it keeps regrowing. So all you need to then do is buy mowers, buy some sort of a windrower setup, and then buy a baler, and then a baler wrapper. And you can lease any of that equipment to get you going. You will start making money fairly quick on it. Um, so, and you can do about three harvests of grass every year if you're playing on seasons, um, or just every three days. Now, one other tip with grass, um, when you go into here and it says ready to harvest, when grass is in this color state here, which you do have to turn the grass on to actually get it to show. So when grass is in this color state here, wait another day. So once it hits this, wait an additional day because even though it says it's ready to harvest, you'll get more if you wait one more day. So three days total for grass to grow and get you the best yield off of it. But again, silage bales are a great way to make a lot of extra cash. It doesn't sell for a lot if we go into the menu here and take a look at silage itself. It doesn't sell for a ton of money, but at the same time, you get a ton of it. So it ends up being really worthwhile. But yeah, silage money is a great way to make extra cash. All right, and number six is actually gonna be productions, but more specifically, Omatana production. So Omatana has a mod production pack out there that is called the Farm Productions Pack. It's available for all platforms. So again, it's very useful to use. Now you see here, a lot of people get straight away from starting on productions, because one, it can be a little bit more complicated and you gotta buy these expensive buildings, 50,000, 60, 70, 96, 60 here. I mean, there's some expensive production buildings in here, but if we go down to these guys here, we start getting cheaper and cheaper. Now, these little ones right here that are only 10 grand to buy, I use these all the time and they're very cheap to get going and they're very easy to use in terms of production. So like this one right here is a great one here um, to place down. Um, then there's a couple others. Let's get a couple of good ones here. Like this one right here, this is a great one. So if I place this guy just right over here, we'll take a look at that. Um, so it's $10,000 to get that. If we go into our production menu, this will make either spaghetti, which it adds some extra different fill types for you, or you can make wheat or barley flour, bread or cake. So yeah, you don't want to put all this stuff in here to make cake. Just make, if you, Essentially what you can do is harvest barley and wheat, which is super easy to do. Put it in here, have it make into flour, 
change the flour to distributing, it'll distribute it back into here, and then that flour can get then turned into bread, which you can then sell. And if you don't wanna to have to haul it, you can sell it yourself for a little penalty um, by having this set to selling here, and you're just making a lot of extra money off of your crops. So this is a really easy way to multiply um, what you're making off of what you're doing um, on FarmSim 22. So an easy way to multiply it using kind of that production uh, method there, uh, which is pretty sweet. Now, if we go past that, there's plenty of other ways to make money, and number seven for you is gonna be field flipping. Now, this is a controversial one here, and this is maybe a little bit cheaty, but it does work well, and it's an easy way to make money. Now, what is field flipping? If I go into the menu here, and I look for stuff that's ready to harvest, like these guys right here. Now, I'm gonna turn grass off because we don't wanna do this with grass necessarily, but we have soy here on 73, for example, that is ready to harvest. So what you can do, you can purchase this whole chunk of land. Now it's pretty big because it has this extra stuff on it, but you can purchase it for $429,000. I buy that. Then what I can do is I can go harvest this field. Then I can sell the land back for the same price. It'll always be worth $429,240, but I can sell it back for the same price. And then what I have now is the same amount of money I started with, and now I have the soy off of that field. So you make extra money off the harvest without having to do any work. So it's an easy way to make money that way, but again, a little cheaty, so some of you guys may not go that route. Now, if we go back into kind of the production mode here for a second, uh, greenhouses, though a little bit slower in terms of making money, they are a great way to make money over time. Um, so if we go into our building menu here, and we go to production, and we go down to greenhouses. Now the big ones, I recommend just buying the big ones. It's just easier to use them. Um, if I place, let's say, I mean, shoot, I can place one here, another one here, another one here. That's $30,000. All I have to do now is provide water to these and turn them on in our production menu to make any one of these different products here. And then all I have to do is change this to selling. You'll make plenty of profit off of this. Most maps, you can get water for free. Um, and all you have to do is haul it to these uh, facilities here. And there's some water trailers out there that haul a ton of water that are available for all platforms. So just shop around on the Mod Hub, get a, a, a water trailer that will hold a lot of water for you and haul water around. Otherwise, you can just use one of the uh, base game ones, which if we go in here under animals, um, these guys all haul water. So I know this is a little bit smaller load, but you only need 3,000 to get going on this or for a little bit more. 8,000 or for the bigger one, uh, 9,500 there, or even bigger, 8,000, well that one, yeah, 73, 85, and then $68,000 for 32,000 liter tank. Um, but the good news is, as these guys make more and more money, keep buying more greenhouses and keep doing the same thing. You don't ever have to haul the productions if you send them to selling and you'll still make a lot of money on them, which is really nice. Now, number nine, this kind of leads us into number nine, as these kind of work as a passive income source, but that is number nine, as a passive income source. Now, um, if we go into here, we go under, production, we go to generators, there's a few different ones in here. So base game, um, there's these five right along here. Now this one's 750,000, which we actually could afford right now, um, though it is a little bit large. Um, but you can see over down here, it says how much you're gonna make per month. So if you have your days set to one day per month, so every game day is a month, you're gonna make that every day in game. So this one will take 13 days to pay for itself. This one will take 11 days to pay for itself. This one 12, this one 12, and this one 12 to pay for itself. So even if you started with the small one, you didn't have very much money, you place one down, you wait a little bit until you get some more money, then you can place another one right next to it, and then essentially we can just put a bunch of these that are gonna keep making us money every single day. So. Again, it doesn't take you a ton of money to get started in this, and those are gonna make you a lot of money. Now, you might say, well, I don't wanna have to just sit here and wait for them to make money. And if you know from the game, now PC players can speed up a little faster than this, but on console, you can only go up to 360 times speed. So this is gonna take a while. This is where I mentioned in number one, where we might wanna actually hold on to our house. So if we actually run over to our house here, you see our money is at 830,014. Uh, now, we are gonna lose a little bit of money to loan interest, but if we come in here and we sleep, and we get ourselves to the next day, as we wake up from our slumber, we can see 2513 in property income is listed up there because we didn't make a full day's worth. But if we go in here and go over to here, again, we have property income, 2513, 1300. So that's gonna start adding up over time really quickly to start paying those guys off over there. And finally, number 10. I know this one is the one that's gonna be probably the most controversial. This is simply cheat the money in. Now you might say, how do you cheat money in if you're on console? If you're on PC, you can use the easy deal easy development tools to add as much or as little money as you want to add in. But if you're on PC or console, you can also cheat money in. All you need to do is go into here and you need to, well, first you need to go on the mod hub and you need to install the uh, government subsidy mod. And then if we go under to production, under generators, hey, here at the very end, we have this one that makes you $8,400 a day, costs you $0 to buy, or this one, which is $8.4 million per month. So if I place just one of these guys down and then we go ahead and we sleep through the night again, 
And good morning, everyone. Now we have $9.2 million. We no longer have $800,000. We have $9.2 million. That's one of those. You can place as many as you would like. So if you want just unlimited money for no reason whatsoever, the government subsidy mod is the best way to go about it. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is my top 10 ways to get money pretty quickly in Farming Simulator 22. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.